New at five, a landmark settlement in a lawsuit over the death of a teen who died as a result of bullying. Moreno Valley School District will be paying his family a record $27 million. And the lawsuit goes on record as the largest bullying lawsuit in the country. Fox 11's Christy Fajardo joins us from Moreno Valley with details. Christy. Christine and Alex, we should point out that according to government statistics, bullying is actually down across the country, perhaps because of all the campaigns to curve it. But the attorney in this case is hoping that the massive settlement puts districts on notice of what can happen if they don't take the right actions. Well, this settlement sends a message of accountability for sure. It's a $27 million settlement. The family of Diego Stoltz hopes will force massive change. This is video of the 13-year-old being bullied at Landmark Middle School. We stop the video before the boy lands a punch. Another kid then strikes Diego, and he hits his head on a pillar as he falls. He's punched one more time before the boys leave. Diego never woke up. By all accounts, this was a nice kid. This kid never got in any trouble. This kid never got in a fight. This kid was, was a, a good family kid. We interviewed the two boys who did this, and, and they were under oath. And we said, why did you bully Diego? Why did you do this to him? They had no answer. And that's the problem with bullying. They picked on him because they could, and no one stopped them from doing it. The family attorney, David Ring, says in 2019, the Thursday before the attack, Diego had been sucker punched by the same bullies. He told a teacher who told the assistant principal. There was even surveillance video of the assault. Diego and his adult sister also came to the school on Friday and were assured the boys would be suspended over the weekend. But when Diego returned on Monday, the boys were there and he was assaulted and killed. School district really had no policies in a situation like that. It was this ad hoc, hey, we'll get to it when we get to it. That's the problem. They did not prioritize these things. Every state in this country has anti-bullying legislation laws. It is up to the schools to enforce them. Ross Ellis is with stompoutbullying.org and says schools need clear and strong policies to keep kids safe. We wanted to know what had changed at the Moreno Valley Unified School District, but no one would comment. The district's website shows their anti-bullying policies were last revised in 2021. Administrators have one business day to update parents on a bullying investigation. There are also procedures for filing complaints. The family hopes Diego's memory will also lead to other much needed reforms. We want it to change it, school districts across the country. Again, the superintendent and school district officials declined to be interviewed, but while we were editing the story, we received an email from the district saying that there are now posters in all classrooms talking about bullying. They also say that students' Chromebooks are now equipped with a button that takes them to a form to report it, and they say there are also tabs on all school and district websites. As for the family, we're told they're pleased with those changes. Live in Moreno Valley, I'm Christy Fajardo. Let's send it back to you.